Hello there, Fail Forward Nation. Thank you for checking in today. I want to uh, encourage you and on the on the path towards your towards accomplishing your dreams. All right, and so today, that's that's my job, and it is also to serve you. It is also to empower you to create, um, like I said, to create dreams and to write down goals and to accomplish them as well as to think about to not only think about but to serve other people right it's the gift that keeps on giving so whether you serve them via donating towards a charity that you love and um, or knocking on a day neighbor's door and encouraging them bringing them cookies just letting them know that they are valued and that blessings can come out of nowhere, right? Blessings happen to us all the time. Let's focus on them. So the subject for today is sort of twofold. I want to talk about why we don't focus on the negative things that happened to us in the past, why we don't focus on gossip, um, why that, that being negative, why we don't focus on listening to the news, being negative cuts our success off at the knees. I want to talk about that, and I'm also going to talk about Floyd Patterson, the heavyweight champion in boxing of the world, two-time heavyweight champ, and why he wrote a book, Victory Over Myself. Now, this is purely conjecture. I honestly don't know the story. I love boxing. Is not as much as I love skateboarding but it's close it's really close and this these are my two favorite sports whatever it is for you that's wonderful for me I've never had more fun in my life than when I and then then time on my skateboard that's it second to that is boxing I love it maybe third Brazilian jiu-jitsu although that is a very frustrating and a very heady game they call it chess with your body it is extremely difficult it is also extremely fulfilling it is amazing what it will do for you so a lot of times I've said to my friends you haven't started living until you started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because that's how I feel that's how enriching it is to your life now I haven't trained for a while Another slide edge choice. My wife and I are going to start training this Saturday. Half hour Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, half hour Muay Thai. We're just we know enough to to drill and work on that on our own. I'm just throwing that out there so that I can be accountable to you. We talked about my slide edge choice yesterday. The difference that I'm making. Now we're going to talk about our greatest enemy. Back to Floyd Patterson my victory over myself and that's a paraphrase and that may not be what he titled in his book it's real close victory over myself I think is what it is so uh, our greatest enemy and we should all know this by now is ourself it is our self-limiting beliefs it is our negative self-talk one way to end our negative self-talk in our self-limiting beliefs is to Commit to ourselves to not complain. All right. Um, oh, I cannot remember the guy's book, the name of the guy's book, book, nor can I remember his name. But I'll get to you. I'll get it to you later. It is. T. Harvecker. Okay. In his book, I can't remember the name of it. But he says every time you complain, do this to yourself because you're. You're, you're basically slitting the throat of your success. It's a little graphic, but it also is effective. Well, way easier said than done, right? Obviously. It's great to have the goal and to start working for it. We want to cut out negativity, um, news, and complaining from our lives. And one incredibly awesome way to do that is by we can, we can only hold focus. We can only serve one of two masters and in our life and for me right it's jesus and it also goes along to as opposed to the devil my enemy and um sometimes the enemy is just your flesh sometimes as this is a christian belief 
Sometimes the enemy is Satan. Sometimes it's our flesh. Now, uh, we know that um, either way, whether your enemy is a spiritual enemy or it's your flesh enemy, it's your body. The best way to battle that, the best way to combat that is to change your focus. You can only focus on one thing at a time. Focus on your dreams. All right. Focus on scripture. Focus on God and focus on Jesus. How he said, I came to bring life and to bring it more abundantly. Uh, he also said, love thine enemy. Okay. And so forgive your enemies, love them, pray for them, pray that they will be blessed this is a technique in Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous that is incredibly effective. I did this for years and years, and it is so effective on getting over bitterness and hatred, resentment towards somebody who harmed you, okay? There's always going to be that occasion where somebody is going to offend you or harm you in your life. We need to uproot that, or even more powerful, don't spend time thinking about it. Think about your goals. Think about your dreams. Dreams. Think about your aspirations, all right? Think about God. Think about the higher um, goal of, of, of mankind serving, loving each other, all right, etc. Now, that is, uh, that is, you know, the two subjects I wanted to cover. Floyd Patterson, we have an enemy. It is ourselves as well as the spiritual enemy, Satan, if you believe that. And I do, and I... Uh, it's not a big deal. I don't fear Satan. I don't spend time thinking about him. I understand sometimes he does try to jam me up. And it, he can only do that if I let him. He doesn't have power over me or you or anybody unless we give it to him. All right. And so that's that's that. Um, you are an, you have unlimited power. You truly do. You truly can accomplish anything. I want you to believe that. I want you to know that. I want you to create your own business or, or create, you know, massive amounts of income so that you can bless other people in that process. Make that commitment to yourself that you are either going to tithe a certain percent or you're going to give, you know, a certain percent to a charity, etc. But you're blessing humanity through your success. All right, this is more empowering to you and it gives you more reasons as to why to accomplish your dreams. So today, for your daily gauntlet, I want you to, if you don't have a charity in mind, I want you to seek, seek one out, find one that you love and give some money to it, give some time to it, give some uh, prayer for it, etc. cetera. Um, help it out in one way. Send them an email just encouraging them. Help them out in one, one shape or another, okay? And I want you to know that God bless you. I do love you. You can win and you will win. Let's lock arms and minds together to, on towards our dreams. And this is a battle. Don't quit. The only time failure really makes a person into failure is when they quit. Fail forward fast and don't give up. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.